When I designed the synchronic blow off valve, I had one goal in mind. Blow off valve that does not leak under boost. In addition to that, there's quite a few different settings on the blow off valve that make it very different from any other product on the market. There are enough of you out there that own this product that I want to show you exactly why I designed it that way, why there's a port C, why there are two ports on the back of the blow-off valve. And what it really comes down to is you've got a blow-off valve that's tunable so that whether you're putting around town, uh, you're at the drag strip, or you're at the road course, you've got a blow-off valve that's going to be able to fit all those different conditions. And whether you're making only 200 horsepower and you've got a bone stock car that you put this unit on, or you're making 500 or you're making 1,000 horsepower, this unit's going to be able to hold that boost. Each unit can actually take about 150 PSI of boost, more than most engines can actually take. But it's designed not to leak under those conditions so that all the boost pressure is going straight into your motor and not getting leaked out. So now we've got our test set up here in place. Okay? We've got a blow off valve that's mounted onto a pressurized pipe. You have your boost gauge here in effect because it's showing you pressure. This is the number you want to look at right here. This is your pressure number. This is your big pressure gauge so you can see the pressure actually rise and we'll show you real quick how it rises. You'll see it come up. So that's how it actually rises. Now let's orient ourselves with the blow off valve. This is the synchronic blow off valve that's mounted exactly the way I designed it to be mounted, which is to hug the pipe. You've got port A here in the back, which is closest to the center. You've got port B, which is furthest away from the center. And you've got port C. Okay. So what we're showing you is we're showing you a system here where the blow valve actually reacts to pure pressure. There is no vacuum in this system. It is just pure pressure. Next thing I'm going to show you is the importance of port C. The reason why port C is so important in the synchronic blow valve is because what it does is it balances the pressure from one side of the piston that wants to open it to the other side of the piston. You know, you'll notice that pressure goes and is flatlining right around 37 psi. And once we let the pressure go, it keeps all that pressure in the pipe. Build up to 37 psi. Pressure is going to get released. 